So I, I'm excited because I know I'm going to love all of your recipes. In a little while, we're going to have some taste testers come out here. I, I, they are harsh. If, if they don't like something, they'll let you know. But I love the way that you cook because you really do. You take something that's a typical American meal, like pasta, mm -hmm. and you make it healthy. Yes. You made this green and call it what? This is our dino pasta. Okay. And the green color is from kale and spinach. And the great thing about this, it's still plant-based. So there's no dairy in it. There's no animal products in it. And to get that creamy consistency is from soaked cashews. Can I try it? <laughs> the show is yours, Jerry. You don't have to ask. It is good. It's so tasty and well balanced. All right, what's this one? So I created this for my daughter because my son, who came first, we did that one. And my daughter was like, but I want a princess pasta. So I made her a princess pasta, and it's just using, like, literally, just a real small sliver of beet. You can use the juice, or you could just put a, lot, a little tiny roasted piece of beet into it, and that's going to give it its pink color, which is going to give it you, again, more nutrition. Yep. <laughs> it's lovely. And you've got two yums from me so far. And last but not least, I'm intrigued by this because this is a, a, a glass noodle dish. What do you call this? This is our invisible noodles. So kids, you know, they all like to, at one point, want to go invisible. So we're using invisible noodles. And there's two different kinds. There's a Chinese version, which is made from mung bean. This one is a Korean version, which is made from sweet potato starch. All right, so it is now time to put this to the test. We're going to go to break. The kids are going to come out. So I, have, I do have a prediction, though. Okay. I think home runs here. This, to me, is more of like an adult dish. Yes. But I am absolutely convinced that the kids are going to have no idea this is healthy. Our Yum Ya crew, Isaac, Lola, and James, give it up. Are you all hungry? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yes. yes, yes. Okay, so the first one we're going to test is this pasta dish on the right. It's called dino pasta. So you guys try out the dino pasta, and then you're gonna tell us whether or not it's yummy or yucky. And make sure you get some of that sauce in there too. We have one yum, we have two yums, we have three yums! All right, so the second dish, this is called princess pasta. So let's move on and try the one in the middle. Mix it all together, get that good sauce on that pasta, and then you guys decide, is it yummy or yucky? We have two yummies! We have three yummies! <laughs> We're two for two. This last one, guys. Charity, what's what do you call this last dish? The invisible pasta. <laughs> All right, so dig in, have some of the invisible pasta, and then you decide. Oh. I'll take that. When we heard of a mom's top secret mac and cheese recipe that's healthy and kid friendly, we had to check it out for ourselves. Please welcome the blogger from Veggie Inspire and Mama Three, Jen. Thank you so much. Jen, I'm so excited about this. Thank you. So what I love about this recipe is that it has a couple of secret ingredients. It does. Before the reveal here, we actually have some judges we're going to bring out here, hence the table. We're going to tell all of you what the secret ingredients are. We're not going to tell them, but secret ingredients quite healthy. It is. A little butternut squash, some cashews. That's right. No cheese. My kids and love it. I have to ask you, how did you come up with this? Well, my kids love mac and cheese. They happen to be partial to the store-bought kind. So I really wanted to find something that was healthier, that I could feel good about serving them, packed with veggies, real whole food ingredients. So they sat down and they ate it and they loved it. They asked for seconds and we love it. We, we eat it probably once a week around our house. I'm a kid at heart, and I give it two thumbs up. But 
I am not a kid in real life. <laughs> and so we have three judges. And I'll tell you, these are tough judges. OK, so you all have paddles. So will you show that to everyone out there? OK, so this, this is the yummy side. So if you like this mac and cheese, you hold up the yummy side. This is the yuck side. If you don't like it, hold up the yuck side. Yeah. All right. So you each have a bowl. Ooh. Looks good, right? And supper is served, kids, so dig right in. <laughs> Sophia, what do you think? Woo! Yay! Three for three! <laughs> Can't taste good. Absolutely. You got some dishes with secret ingredients, yes. starting with pancakes. Pancakes. Okay. Yes. Am I allowed to give it a whirl? Yeah. You want to do that before you see the secret ingredient? Go right ahead. You like it? Who doesn't like pancakes? <laughs> I know. It's hard to go wrong with pancakes. Who doesn't like pancakes? <laughs> So the secret ingredients are oats and applesauce. So these are applesauce oatmeal pancakes. And if you combine the oats with the whole wheat flour, they're 100% whole grain. And the sweetness uh, from the applesauce it makes it so you don't have to add any refined sugar. And they're so good. And what a great thing to send the kids off to school with because yes. that's going to give them sustained energy throughout yes. the morning. And you know, sometimes I even pack breakfast for lunch to literally send my kids off to school with. So these freeze beautifully. You can double the recipe while you're making it, and then I cut it into little strips in their lunchbox and put a little yogurt for dipping sauce, and they love it. Speaking of uh -huh. strips, these are, are these nuggets. nuggets? These are nuggets. See what you think. Ready for the secret ingredient? Oh, good, good. <laughs> this one is a little more of a surprise. Cauliflower. So basically it's whole wheat bread crumbs and Parmesan cheese and salt and pepper and then you just put them in the oven and I think this is a great way to give kids a good first impression of a new food. I don't think it's good to hide from them what it is, let them know even when they're done eating that they were eating cauliflower so they know it's not so scary and maybe next time they'll have it roasted or in pasta and they'll have a good first impression. We're going to do that right now. Okay, let's see what we happens. We actually <laughs> have some really tough critical judges. They're gonna put these recipes to the test. What's up, guys? You hungry? Yeah. You see these signs here? We're gonna give these foods a taste test. And we have, well, you wanna pull your lids off? Mm -hmm. Oh. Looks good, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna start with the pancakes. <laughs> uh oh. Mm. One way to do it. Don't need to cut. Mm. <laughs> this is delicious. In case I've ever tried in my whole entire life. <laughs> Sophia? Yeah. Smiley face, Marley. It's a winner! Okay, so yeah. kids, I know we'll give you time to finish the pancakes in a minute, but you see those nuggets? Yep. So let's give oh. the nuggets a whirl. Okay. <laughs> mm. These are good. Sophia, did you even taste that? Yes. Is it good? Yeah! <laughs> James, Marley? <laughs> Woo! You so good at it. Now, now kids, w what if I told you that those pancakes were made with applesauce and oatmeal, mm -hmm. and those chicken nuggets are actually cauliflower. What? <laughs> you can tell. Delicious. Pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. It's not cauliflower, though. Oh, it is. <laughs> but it kind of tastes like cauliflower. It is. But it's good, right? Yeah. And it's good for you. Isn't that pretty cool? Now I kind of like cauliflower. So <laughs> 